This is the macro show. This is pregame, okay? We're trying to play the game that's in front of us today. I'm trying to give you all the content so that you can see that there are many tools in the toolbox to play at the highest level. Execute across everything. Don't get distracted by the MSM and the tourists. They're very dangerous. I will grind and execute for you with our people and with you. It's the restaurant industry traffic. So this is basically cell phones um, going through different restaurants effectively. Uh, and this doesn't include the pricing. Um, so what you're seeing is the, the blue line there on slide 15 is, is the casual dining company. So that's you know, a Chili's and Outback Steakhouse uh, and those in Applebee's and whatnot. And then uh, the orange line there is the QSR. So that's McDonald's and a few of the others. So there is some substitution of that as you would think, you know, consumers are trading down from a Chili's burger to, you know, McDonald's burger or, or whatnot. And then we've seen that before. And, and one of the reasons why we have McDonald's on the long list exactly for that. We've seen this, we've seen this movie before and it plays out um, probably going to play out similar, although the inflation, um, the inflation pressures are across the board more um, significant than any time I've seen uh, in my career. And then there's also going to be some um, difference regionally. So I have effectively the same slide on slide 16, but I just put Florida in here uh, as an example. As you can see, casual dining Florida is significantly worse than casual dining, uh, one, but two, uh, you know, worse than the industry as well. So you're going to have some regional issues um, and regional things to consider when you think of some of these chains, because not all of them are national. And uh, Florida, Texas and California are the three biggest states. Uh, for the for the industry. When you think about the restaurant industry, you want to talk about the slowdown in spending. You can see, again, um, change in monthly mall visits. Um, this is year over year since December, January, up until May. And you can see a, a really significant slowdown in mall visits. And uh, that's probably not too surprising, but that will impact um, you know, companies that have significant exposure to malls, um, one of them being uh, Cheesecake Factory, uh, and the second one being Red Robin, which is also one we're short. And you could see, uh, you know, a coincident with the decline in mall traffic, you're seeing a significant slowdown uh, in the traffic at Red Robin. And as I said at the beginning, we had one company, the first company I've seen anyway, announce, you know, a discounting strategy or value strategy. They're going to be offering a $10 burger here um, shortly. I don't know the cost structure of that promotion, but I would suggest in this kind of inflationary environment that that is not going to help margins and going to hurt margins. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.